Good morning and welcome to the Battle Within. We're continuing our study of Hebrews chapter 9, and today we're going to read verses 15 through 17. He says, And for this cause he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the tester. For a testament is of force after men are dead. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all while the tester liveth. Some simple truths we need to study here and see. So if we, as we look, it says here in verse 15, And for this cause, he the mediator of the New Testament, by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament. So Jesus, remember we told you the Old Testament saints looked towards the cross. They believed that there was coming a Messiah. They believed that there was coming a Savior that would save them from their sins. They knew that. They believed that. They looked towards the promise. Remember the Bible tells us that Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man comes to the Father but by me. That's no man. That means the Old Testament saints could not go into heaven until they accepted Jesus as their personal Savior. So it says here, and that's what's said in here in verse 14, it says, uh, verse 15, and for this cause, he is the mediator of the New Testament. So those people who died in the Old Testament times that failed their witnessing because they did not follow the commandments of God relied upon the New Testament the new commitment, the new covenant. It says that by means of death for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament that they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. Jesus died for the Old Testament saints too. And they had to believe in him to go to heaven. So we know that they died and went into the place called Abraham's bosom or, or the paradise side of, of Hades. That was a gulf between them. We know this from the story of Abraham and Lazarus. I mean, the story of, Abra of Lazarus and the rich man, I mean. So we know that there was a gulf between them. By the way, that's not a parable. It's a story because Jesus gives names, and he doesn't give names in any other parables. So we know that it's actually a story of a real situation. But we see here that, that the Old Testament saints, like Lazarus, looking towards the cross, looking Abraham, David, uh, they look towards the cross. Uh, Isaac and Jacob, they look towards the cross. Yeah. Abraham, I mean, Adam and Eve and Seth, they all look towards the cross. Um, Abel looked towards the cross and waited for the promise. Here he comes. Here comes the promise, he says. And he says he came for a testament. They said that, uh, that, that for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the first testament. So they were waiting for him to show up. They which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. They could not receive eternal inheritance until Jesus presented himself. Remember, he told the thief on the cross, Today you will be with me in paradise. Paradise being the, the uh, part of Hades where everyone's waiting for him to show up. The crowd has been gathered, the party has been put together, but they're waiting for the main character to show up. They're waiting for Jesus, the Savior. Verse 16 said, For where a testament is, there must also of necessity be the death of the tester. You can't use a good, you can't, the, a will is no good unless the person is dead. You know, a will is not worth anything until the person dies. So Jesus had a will, the, the will, the, the contract was only valid upon the death of Jesus. The, it wasn't just pouring of the blood, it was the death, it had to be the death of Jesus Christ that paid the penalties for our sins. So he says in verse 16 that the New Testament, or the new commitment, the new covenant, was only was of a necessity to be the death of the tester. Verse 17, for a testament or covenant is of force after men are dead, otherwise it is of no strength at all. While the tester liveth. There's no way until Jesus died on the cross for our sins, no one could be saved. No one could be in eternal life. No one could be there until Jesus did the work. And when he did, he presented himself to the New Testament saints, the Old Testament saints, and they were happy. They rejoiced. And then they went with him. That's all I have time for today. Let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for this word. It's powerful stuff. Help us, Lord, to understand it and apply it in our lives. For it's in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Thank you for your time and your attention today.